Charles Jr. here for another adventure. More rock hounding on the Willamette River. So today we're here walking around another spot on the Willamette River, different from the last video. And we are going to just kind of take you along and show you some of the finds that we have. Already found a couple of them, a couple of real quartzy pieces. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you uh, as we find stuff. And uh, just let you know, hey, there's some good fun to be had out here. Yep, today is a, another beautiful day here in the great Pacific Northwest in Western Oregon. I am trying to maintain my excitement because I just stumbled up on something that's pretty big and I'm carrying a bag, my tool, and the camera. So I gotta figure out how I'm gonna get this with one hand. So we will see. But I'm gonna bring you down on it to show you what I found. Look at those colors. Just incredible. I'm excited. Can't you tell? Woohoo! So, I'm going to keep put this in the bag, clean it up, put it in the bag, and keep looking for more. Okay, I'm back. Haven't moved very much. Found one other small one. Wasn't thought it was worth looking at. But, look at this here. And there's a piece of Jasper right there, so we're going to get them both. Let me put my bag up. I'll just have to wash it. It's going to be muddy. This is all muddy through here, really bad. <clears throat> That's a piece of petrified wood. Looks like a piece of agatized petrified wood. Boy, that looks interesting. That's so flat it looks like it's been cut. Now let's pick this here up and take a look at this. Jasper with some quartz in it. Cool. Let's put them in here. And I'll just leave my bag right there and we'll just and I'll walk around and see what else I can find. Hope I can find you guys some more good stuff. What's this here? Now oh, see there's a small one there. That's a small one. I'll still keep it though. Well, doing pretty good. I'll show you some of the stuff we have. But I've got to show you something. And this has happened to me several times. I'm going to place my bag down. Well, just let me show you what's right next to it. But first, there's what I found so far. A piece of petrified wood. It's quartzy stuff. Another agate. Something green. Big piece of quartz. But as I was putting that down, I looked to the right of my bag, I looked to the side of my bag here. What do you see there? Look at that. And I looked up here and I saw something else. That has happened countless times to me. I go set my stuff down and I find cool stuff right next to it after I come back to it. Problem is, this area through here is so dirty with all this algae and mud. It is so difficult to see it. I'm probably stepping over 95% of the good stuff because you just can't see it. See how bad it is? Well, I'm going to pound the heck out of this little spot and then go up that way. Okay, everybody, we're still here walking along. Mr. Josh Jr. is back close with me. And she's found a beautiful piece of what we believe is Jasper. But I'm walking up in here and I just came across something. So let me drop my bag. Sorry for the shaking around. Switch hands. See where I'm getting. You can probably see it. That's pretty good. So I'll put that one right here. 
And let me look to see around my bag like I found before. Is there anything else other than that one? No, I don't see anything. But I'm going to reach out here and I'm going to pick this here up. Big old piece of Jasper. I like that stuff. So that's, that's a keeper as well. So I'm going to keep walking through here and looking ahead of me and see what I can find. Well, huh, this does not look too conducive for rock hounding, but there are rocks. And I want to show you what I stumbled across. If I can get the camera down to it, being all tangled up in this stuff. Sorry for the shaking. There we go. So not too bad. But yeah, this stuff is not easy to walk through. And I would prefer to be down at the water's edge. But this here is kind of muddy and thick. And I don't see anything down there. So... But if it was easy, everybody would be doing it. So I'll just be persistent and continue on. I've been tracing around this water here because I've got the boots on, so it's not too bad. But I came across something. I don't know what this is. So I'll pull out my camera and make sure I can get it cleared off. That's looking like a piece of petrified wood. That is. That's beautiful. Wow. That is beautiful. Okay, well I've now I've murked made this water murky a little bit so it's gonna be harder to see stuff. Okay, now the Mrs. Jaws Jr. has presented me with something, and we're not going to get it wet, because then I think we'll miss the contrast. I believe that this is mostly agate. So now we'll get it wet. Sorry for my sniffling hay fevers and kicking in full gear for me. See, now with it being wet, it looks less impressive except for that little spot right there. But if it was laying like that, who would pick it up? If it was laying this side up, who would reach down and pick this one up? Even with it being wet. But there's a hint there. There's a hint there. I think she's got herself the winner of the day. Okay. Be back in a minute. Well, now at the other end of that pond area. And I look down here and I see this. Pretty good.
Okay, here I am. I've tried to film something three times and my camera just decided I didn't want to do it. So here's what I just found. Beautiful, beautiful piece of petrified wood. Okay, I'm back. And yeah, there's killdeer still over there. So, I had to walk up to the Mrs. Jaws Jr. to show her this pretty cool piece of petrified wood. And you look at it. Mind you, that's pretty nice. I was impressed with it. And as I was walking up to her, I stepped down. And then I looked at, in a downward motion. And this is what I found. So let's get this wet. Oh yes, look at that. Look at the bending on that. That's a pretty one. So because I had to go to the Mrs. Jaws Jr., I found this one. That's all good. Oh, let me show you what else. I'll put these two here with it. And so this little pond area produced all this. Not too bad. Well, we're going to bring this episode to an end. Yes, the Wyoming River's got so much to offer. Uh, the downside is is that there are so many private access points on private property so you can't get down here. There's very few public access points. But there's all kinds of color. I hope you can see the, the color of that green. So yeah. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna show you the stuff that Mrs. Josh Jr. got right now. for just a few hours of coming out here. So there you go, everybody. Just remember, everyone's life is an adventure. Then there's mine, rock hounding on the Willamette River. This is the Adventures of Jaws Jr. Have a good one, everybody. See ya!